This summer, I'm dating my favorite person, myself. I'm planning dedicated time every week to reflect and improve my relationship with myself. And also, why do we need to wait for other people in order to do all the cool things we want to do? I also love the idea that you can find inspiration in anything. So, every date is inspired by an emoji. Today, mirror. Okay, so like, you know that feeling when you're going on a date? A limited feeling in my limited dating experience. You're looking in the mirror and suddenly you're just conscious of everything. Like that spot there, hi, hello, didn't see you before, but you're there, hello, welcome to my face. Or this bruise on my shoulder, which isn't even a cool story, I literally just fell over in the street. Or the way that my body has changed shape over time as it naturally fluctuates. And you kind of do your hair a hundred times and you kind of try on a hundred different outfits and you kind of forget how you look because you're just staring at yourself so much in the mirror and your face isn't really a face and it all just starts to blend. That's me today. Except I'm going on a date with myself. <laughs> Today's date with myself is inspired by the mirror emoji. This is a little series I'm running this summer where I find inspiration in different emojis and treat myself to a self date and talk about deep little things. Mirrors, the reflections of ourselves we get in every shop window, the sliver of ourselves in a shiny surface. I'm kind of baffled by mirrors because they show you so little, if that makes sense. They show you something you can otherwise never see. When we're just living our lives and experiencing our emotions and people and everything within it, we're doing it from a place of not seeing ourselves. Like, think about it. If you just look around your room right now, you're experiencing the room, but you're not experiencing how your face looks or how your eyes look as you're scanning the room. I listened to a bunch of meditations on the app Waking Up by Sam Harris, and they call this the headless way. We experience life almost headless because we don't see our heads. But then, do -do 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 you have mirrors. Like, mirrors show you the you, that everyone else is experiencing. How mind-blowing is it that we put so much energy into tailoring a view of ourselves that we can't even see day to day. It's what the mirror sees, it's what other people see. Like, if reflective surfaces didn't exist, if you could never see yourself, I'm just so certain we would be prioritizing different things. We would be thinking more about the energy that we have when we interact with other people, the way things feel, the way you experience different situations. Anyway, today I am dating myself by doing things purely for the mirror. I'm getting my hair dyed for the first time ever, which is madness. And then I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror and see how I feel different. Feels so good to be dating the hottest person, aka myself. I put a cute dress on because you gotta treat yourself on a date. This is the current state of my hair. I'm so intrigued to see how it's gonna be after. We're gonna be a blonde gal. Let's go. This place is so cute. Mirrors everywhere. Hey guys, so I just got out the hairdresser and I'm gonna be honest, Normally going to the hairdresser is like this experience where I come out feeling like hot, I'm like feeling myself, I'm like, oh, I love my hair. But I really just don't think that they have worked with my hair type before. Like this wasn't a curly hairdresser like I have in the UK, this was just a hairdresser. And I think it shows. It's just a puff. They just kept brushing it. And if you know curly hair, you just don't brush it. I'm trying to be optimistic. I think when I wash it, it will be okay. But right now it's just, it's just saying pure volume. <laughs> it's just saying round blob. As for the color, I also can't really tell the difference that much. Like I thought it'd be this really dramatic thing where I'd come out and I'm like a new woman, like cast me in Legally Blonde. But instead, 
it's just kind of the same, but just puffier. If the hairdresser was my date, I would break up with them. As for mirrors, I'm using every reflective surface on the street right now to validate whether or not I like the hair. I just, maybe I need more time. So, still not loving the hair, but I was just sitting here in this park, it's like 27 degrees, it's so beautiful, and I was reflecting on how much of our sense of self comes from our appearance. Like, it's actually mind-blowing to me. If I feel like I look pretty that day, I will just 100% be more confident, like, without a doubt. It's like, if I know I look good, then I expect others to think I also look good, so I'm more eager to project this confidence about myself. Whereas if I'm having a bad hair day, if I'm not really feeling it, then I will also hold myself differently as though I'm anticipating other people to have the same opinion about my appearance. And like, how crazy is that? How much of how we are is dictated by how we look? This is also why consumerism is such a big thing because we get such a rush through buying something new and the feeling when we have it on like, like when we've got a new item we sort of have a new skip in our step we just feel a little bit better but as time goes on and as we don't associate that newness to that piece and it just becomes a part of everyday life the next time we put it on we don't have that that feeling it doesn't bring us that addictive serotonin boost of confidence anymore and that's when we go back to the shops we buy something new but what if you were able to conjure that new piece of clothing feeling that I know I look hot, confidence, even if you didn't like your appearance that day. How can you detach your sense of self from your knowledge of how you look that day or what you're wearing? And in thinking about this, I think the only times I can do that are when I've done a lot of yoga or a lot of meditation or stuff where I'm like, working inwardly that's when i feel like i radiate regardless of my appearance i'm just like wow imagine if we all prioritize that more oh my gosh i love people watching there was this woman walking like six dogs like a dalmatian a german shepherd a little fluffy poodly thing and it was so entertaining watching her trying to navigate all the people on this grass with all of those dogs <laughs> also there are so many main characters in this park we've got some people reading with like their headphones in like glowing in the sun we've got someone doing a full-on circus acrobatics act over there My challenge for you today is to take yourself on a date which alters your appearance in some way. Go get your nails done, go get your hair done, stop shaving for a week and grow out your body hair. Do something which will make the mirror value you differently and then see how you feel. Do you like or dislike how it changes your appearance? And how does that change how you hold yourself? Does it change how you view yourself? This is just a little exercise to see what your appearance means to you. Sending you all the love. Next week, I'm taking myself on a date inspired by this emoji. Bye, guys. I'm sending you all the love. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice. You're back in Berlin. I knew you were here a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have Thank an amazing you. time. Bye. Uh, you guys are so nice. <laughs>